welcome back students in this video i am going to cover few important questions and the gun short questions for the course cryptography and network security under jnuh r8 in regulation for computer science engineering students as you all aware that this time the question paper pattern is bit changed it is all about part a as well as part b students i have done a video on how you are going to get the questions in part a and the part b if you haven't gone through it please go and watch it i am going to let you know short questions as well as long questions as per the new pattern the first and the foremost question from the unit one is need of security and the types of attack and security services this may be in terms of short or as well as put together a long question and the substitution and transpose trans position and its types and the techniques is said to be one of the very important and gunshot questions and blocks if a modes of operation and possible types of attacks let it be a brute force attack is asked several times and the plain and cipher text may be one of the short questions dear students from this part we can expect 2ab as well as this part we can expect 3ab as you all aware that the the first question is all about a to uh, j that all are of short questions the model for a network security and its components explain as well as pervasive and specific security mechanism is said to be one of the very important and gunshot question and stenography what is stenography explain maybe a two mark question and encryption avails versus decryption may be also a two and three mark question interruption and interception differences as well as security mechanism and key range and key size may be also the short questions from this part we can expect the short question as well as three as well as as 3b dear students do not expect direct 10 mark question that may be a combination of 5 5 combination let me let me to the unit 2 the unit 2 is all about diffie hellman key exchange algorithm for an en encryption and decryption with an example is said to be one of the very important and the lengthy long question rsa algorithm perform the encryption and decryption for the given using rsa algorithm analyze the security of rsa may be the short questions and a snapshot algorithm may be also a short question i mean three and four combination and this is said to be the four uh, 4AB and 5AB is all about the blockfish algorithm and the key generation encryption and decryption is said to be one of the very important related to LGML crypto system is said to be a 10 mark question directly and the difference between RC5 versus blowfish and RC4 and block cipher operation and stream cipher may be a 5A as well as 5B question in the question paper this time make sure that the pattern is all about part A part B you need to work even the short questions from this let jump into the unit 3 unit 3 is bit lengthy in its structure the main features of SHA 512 is said to be very important and gunshot question for sure that may be a 6a question for this time using cryptography has function and careboards is said to be one of the important question in 3 mark what problem was designed to address related to careboards and SHA algorithm may be a 3 mark question and what is the job of a key distribution center as well as key size and the message biggest size is said to be a B question in 6 year students and symmetric key distribution is also said to be a 3 mark question. Now let's look into the 7th question that is message authentication requirements and attacks related to message communication is asked several number times as per the, uh, the analysis done by me taking into consideration the previous year question papers public key infrastructure and carbose and format of x509 certificate is said to be very very important and one short question that we can expect in 7a dear students this time hmac versus camsc is a three mark question as well as elgamal digital signature scheme or the digital scheme may be a two mark question and this may be a 7ba as well as 7b in our question paper dear students make sure to work out all these concepts it is not easy to score good marks this time as you are supposed to work out each and every parameter which I am highlighting here as the question paper pattern is too lengthy in its structure and this unit 4 is all about IEEE 802.11i wireless LAN security is said to be very very important and gunshot question which can expect a 8th question HTTPS benefits and the functions may be a 2 or 3 mark question and SSL record protocol format is a 2 mark question and web, web security considerations too and this is said to be 8A as well as 8B in your question paper now coming to the 9A and 9B the operations of secure socket layer and transport layer is said to be very very important and one short question which I can 
expecting a importance of security in mobile devices may be a three mark question explain and the secure shell functionalities may be a two mark question and ieee 802.11 wireless lan is said to be explained in detail may be one of the question in your question paper that may be 9a as well as 9b and please try to work out in the short questions also from this and the unit 5 is all about 10a b as well as 11ab and the ip ip security and its policies explain in detail is said to be very very important and one short question ip security architecture and basic combinations of security associations along with the diagram may be a 10a question this time and the general format of s m i m e and the functionalities of internet key exchange protocol is said to be a three mark question for this time the applications of ip security is a two mark question and the advantages of authentication header protocol may be a short question and from this part we can expect 10a as well as 10b dear students pgp services is said to be one of the gun shot and top most question in the 11th question i mean a pgp message generation along with its neat diagram and the virtual election explain the term as well as transport mode and tunnel mode in ip security may be a three mark question how to provide the security during inter branch payment transaction may be a case study on cryptography security such type of questions will be asked for sure from the 11b dear students and internet key exchange too this may be a three mark question dear students do not expect the question paper to be direct and you cannot uh, work out if the part of the question is of the syllabus is i mean the fifth unit is half we cannot expect that what part of the question comes in 10ab and 11ab you need to be thorough with all these combinations sometimes there may be may be coming here and this part of 10a may be in the 11th question i hope you know how to work out the question paper i mean the answers as i told that if the question is 10a b which is from the fifth unit or 11 ab is from the fifth unit if you know a and if you know b in this it is said to be a invalid answer you are supposed to work out either 10a 10b or you are supposed to work out either 11a 11b you need to work out all these combinations in 3 hours of time the part a short questions as well as part b long questions to be answered in such a way that all the answers in the part a to be mandate and the compulsory and the part b is an of type of option like 10 8 and 11 you are supposed to work out either this full in combination or this full in combination do not do b from this and do not do a from this so that it is not valid dear students and you are going to waste your time make sure to work out all the answers very neatly by following my tips if you haven't go through the channel please go through the channel and look at the what that uh, the paper pattern for this year i mean the part a part b hope you are going to share this video with your friends as well as subscribe to my channel as if you are looking for any other course please do comment good luck and god bless you all thank you